I'm super thirsty. Ugh, this water doesn't taste that good. They call me the Asian Phenom, and I'm the best at what I do because I review everything from A to Z. Finally, I am going to be tasting some purified water with the Comfy Reverse Osmosis System. This is the Comfy 600 GPD, otherwise known as gallons per day reverse osmosis system. Make sure you select a model that fits under your sink because there are various models to choose from. It looks like this is the faucet head. Hey, nice finish. Okay, yeah. Mountain hardware, this is T-valve plumber's tape. Okay, instructions manual, and this is more hardware for the faucet. And then you have your piping right here for the pure water, for the water inlet, and for the wastewater. Wow, this looks like a Dell desktop. <laughs> I really like the design. So as you can see, I have a bunch right here to flush and reset. If you open, pop open the panel, here you will see the pack and carbon filter, which you can pop out. See? So it's already installed. And if you take a look on the back, there's an additional panel right here. And this is the big RO filter. And with the combination of the three filters, it's going to give you the seventh stage filtration. On the top, you see the valves for the piping. So here's my under sink setup. I am happy that it fits in there. That's why you make sure you select the right model. I'm ready for installation, but before I do that, I want to show you my current setup. As you can see right here, I have one of these pull down faucets on the left and the right. You see, I already have these um, soap dispenser. So I already have two pre drilled holes right here. And they give you the option of drilling it. So um, it's there, it's available. And I'll be using replacing the left soap dispenser with this faucet. Some of the tools you're going to need a pail or a bucket, a wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, an electric drill with a quarter inch drill bit. My first step is to turn off the cold water valve and then run the water to relieve the pressure. And I'm going to unscrew the valve. It helps to have the pail on the bottom collect water. Now I'm going to install a new T-valve. Screw the old valve into the new T-valve on top. Next I'm going to insert the white water inlet pipe into the T-valve. And don't forget to add a lock clip for each of the pipes. Now here comes the tricky part. I'm going to remove the soap dispenser. Hopefully I can do it with just one person. Fortunately, I finally got it removed. It wasn't easy because it was caked up with uh, soap. Here's going to be a stack of or the Felsa assembly. You see you have the rubber gasket, steel part, another rubber. Okay, and then this is going to be the sink and then it goes in like that. Okay, and now would be a good time to insert the blue, which is the pure water piping. And of course, always lock down with the lock strip right there. No, you probably have to apply some force to push the pipe beyond the black marking. So I pushed it in. And this is what it will eventually look like. Wow, that looks beautiful. Now is when I would lock it in place. This would be another tricky part. And here's the trick I use. Use this rope. My hand isn't long enough. Now I can see. You see, I can adjust it and tighten it on the bottom. Let's check. It's on tight now. Oh yeah, that's good. See, no holes, no gaps.
step is to drill a quarter inch hole into the drain pipe for the wastewater system. Looking at the pipe, if you have to drill in horizontal area because it's uh, space constraint, make sure you drill top, not on the bottom. It looks like there's already a marking right here. This looks like a central location to fit this uh, bracket in here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Quarter inch hole. Again, here is a stack up. Make sure enough goes in here. Okay, don't forget to put this in here. Let's go insert that. So the screw the nut, tighten it. And don't forget the lock clamp. Time to insert the tube, remove these plugs. That one didn't want to come out. So the blue goes in here, which is purified water. Okay, second one will leave blank. And then the white one is for the tap water. And then the red is going to be for the wastewater. Of course, don't forget the lock clips. Now is when I pray that it will not leak when I turn it on. Looks like that's good. Let's go ahead and plug in the power. But hold on. Why isn't it on? Just discovered this power outlet is connected to the garbage disposal. So I would have to use a separate outlet. I don't want my garbage disposal to be always on whenever I want drinking water. Okay, see? Now I have it on. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And let that flush the system for 30 minutes. There it goes. Let's go ahead and time it for 30 minutes. Let it do its thing. All right, I have the cabinet closed. Let's test to see how quiet it is. Here I have it off. See how that's turned off. So it's, it's noticeable, but not super noisy. All right guys, 30 minutes is up. Let's go ahead and turn it off. I'm excited to test out the water quality. I'm gonna get some water from the tap water and then purify reverse osmosis water from the comfy system. First, tap water, strictly cold. We're using cold water strictly. Okay, and then the purified water. We have to let this RO system kick in. You guys hear it operating right now. And both are using cold water, right? It's doing its thing. See? All right. That's good right there. I'm ready to conduct the test. Let's go ahead and power on. Okay. So the first mode is the TDS, Total Dissolved Solids. Okay, let's start out with the tap water right here. Put this in here. It looks like that gets a 21, see? 21 means that uh, it's under carbon filter, so, so the lower the number, the better. It's pretty much ideal, zero being perfect. So remember, that's 21, okay? That's easy to remember, right? Now for the purify our system water. PPM of one, oh my goodness, near perfect, guys. That is crazy. Now I'm curious about the electrical conductivity. How much metal is inside each of these drinking water? Tap water, 30, oh, wait, 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 let's let us settle down, 42. So I read from the World Health Organization, less than 400 micron per centimeter, uh, micron whatever per centimeter, it's the 
safe scale. So it looks like that's low. But let's see what about the temperature. Looks like that's getting a 61.5. I mean, it's still cold water, right? So let's go ahead and clear that. Let's go ahead and go to the RO system water. Oh, what can this be? It's getting a significantly low number again. Look at that, a number four, that's crazy. Well, about temperature wise. Oh, oh, that, that's cold water right there. Oh, wow. So obviously we know who won the battle. <laughs> now it wouldn't be a complete test without a taste test by yours truly. Let's go ahead and try the tap water. Now for the purified reverse osmosis system water. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell it's a lot more cleaner, a lot more clearer. And the taste difference, it's, it's pretty astounding because it tastes more like, like watered out chlorinated water, you know? with a little bit of handle like metal but this one right here you guys see the difference it's a lot more clearer and a lot more thirst quenching wow i am actually surprised by how well the comfy reverse osmosis system worked out installation i wouldn't say it was super easy it's probably easiest with two people installing it but on the plus side, you are saving hundreds of dollars every year instead of buying purified or water bottles. It only costs about average of 20 cents a day to use this RO system. Yeah, so if you're looking for the ultimate reverse osmosis system with seven stage cleaning system, definitely give the Comfy brand a look. Stay hydrated, my friends.